NBA 2K13, where getting drafted number one happens. You couldn't do that in 2K12. Look at those Heat jerseys in the crowd. Is that in the NBA Finals? Is 2K predicting the future? Where smooth number 27 happens. I always like that screenshot. This commercial is exactly like the one that came out in 2K12. They didn't change anything. All the screenshots, all the poses are exactly the same. And if you don't believe me, click the link in the description. I'll show you the 2K12 one. This video is all about team chemistry. So let me show you a screenshot of everyone on our team. Look at that. Everyone's ratings are going up. And you see my jump shooting is somewhere still in the 70s. Remember a few videos ago when I was saying that I wasn't going to upgrade my three because I was still making threes as long as I was open? Well, that's on the default sliders. If you play on simulation sliders, I haven't been able to make threes. So now I'm forced to upgrade my three point rating and I will do so. But these next two games, I don't have it upgraded. And you can see, look at that behind the back move. And I also had my signature skills up on the screen. I might start doing that. I might just press up on the D-pad, leave it up there. That way you can see the signature skills. You can see when they activate, see what's going on every game. In one of my most recent videos, I was talking about how I had this one game where I got fouled a lot. And this is that game. It's on simulation. And I don't know what happened. I was going to the free throw line so much. Look at that beautiful bounce pass to Eric Gordon. We are really connecting now. I'm hitting Eric Gordon. If it's a close game, at the end of the game, I'm going to him every time down. And I was surprised that I got ripped right there because on simulation game style, the steal slider is down by five. So when he got me there, I was mad. Look at that. I came back down, hit him with an in and out move. I slam it. Hanging on the rim in their gym, rhyming on accident again. And I don't have the vertical replays yet because I'm not wearing the Nike ID shoes. I know those look like hyper dunks and they are, but they're not the way you're supposed to do it to get the Nike replays. What you're supposed to do is outside of my career mode, you're supposed to go to the Nike ID section and it shows all the Nike ID shoes. And then from there, you can click on a shoe, edit the colors, and then save it so that when you go back in my player, you'll have that shoe in your team's colors. But the problem is that there was a glitch. The glitch has been fixed, but there was a glitch where when you would make that shoe and you would actually put it on your my player, he would then be wearing a generic shoe. It was like white and yellow and black. And so that was the glitch that I was talking about in one of my previous videos. And so that's why in this game, what I had to do to get those shoes is, and look at that block. I had to go to one of the only three hyper dunks that lets you edit it in my career. And you can actually change the materials. You can go patent leather. You can go rubber. You know, you can't do that in the Nike ID store, I don't think. The shoe I'm wearing in this game, even though it's Nike Hyper Dunks, the name doesn't say that. It says NO Bootleg. You can put your own custom name. And so that's why when I dunk, I don't get the vertical replays. But two or three games later, I made the shoe again, and that glitch went away. So I don't know. Maybe they fixed their server when you actually create the shoe. But now it's fixed. So in future videos, I'll have it. But right now, in the next few videos, I'm not going to have it yet. This is a pretty close game. You know we're gonna go down to the wire. Look at me getting fouled again. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw how many times I got fouled in this game. I even get the milestone for making 10 free throws in a game and look at me just trying to be like Dwayne Wade right there. Looking like Wade on that Euro step. I love to push the tempo any chance I get. Look at that. I'm gonna spend this time more free throws. I'm loving it. So that's one thing I like about playing on simulation. There's a lot more free throw attempts. There's still those times where you get contact layups and nothing happens. And you see, I just got the milestone for the 10 free throws in one game. But the free throws are pretty good. Now, my game style is starting to change. In my first few games, I was the primary scorer. I was looking to score 
And I'm still looking to score, but now I'm finding my teammates more. I'm getting them open. You see me using Ryan Anderson correctly. Look at that move I put on that double team from the pick and roll. I actually did that move by accident because when you're doing moves on the right stick and you're using the left stick, sometimes that happens. You do like these weird step backs. And I didn't even mean to do it there, but it worked out perfectly. And since switching to simulation, my field goal percentage has been going down. I had some crazy games where I was shooting like 60% from the field, but that's no more. Now I'm having some bad games. I'm struggling. I'm trying to figure out how can I make more of my shots because I'm still taking good shots. I'm missing open threes. I know I got to upgrade my three because of the slider on simulation, so I'm probably going to stop shooting threes because in these two games, I didn't really make any threes. We come away with the win here, and if you look, I shot 0% from the three-point line. I was 9 of 23, 39% shooting, four turnovers. I got to cut down on the turnovers. Nice ankle breaker. Look at that pass after the Euro step. Give me that assist. And this play right here looks like we're playing 2K12. I'm able to get that pass into the post. That doesn't happen that much in 2K13. They cut down on it, but it works there. And look at that BS. I was running full speed into the paint. I obviously wanted to do a layup, but they made me pull up for a jump shot. I hate it when that happens. Look at me ripping Ty Lawson, but it doesn't mean anything. We don't get a score. I hate it when that happens. I'm still figuring out the simulation sliders. I concluded that if I want to shoot a higher percentage, I need to upgrade my shooting stats, my shooting attributes, because it just doesn't make sense to miss so many wide open jumpers. So that's what I have to do. And you'll be able to compare. Look at that little yellow bar under my player when I'm in three point range. You see it's not full. It's about four bars full. And now that I upgraded it, you'll see when I'm in that range, I get five or six bars. So you can tell that I'm still I still have the lower shooting ratings. And you're going to see a lot of Eric Gordon in this video and especially in the next video. I'm really excited about the next game I'm going to put out. It's just team chemistry to the highest limit possible. You know there's enough time for that shot clock cheese. I don't know why he tried to take a charge. I did a Euro step. I'm not mad. Easy two points. Got him with the cross. I should have just pulled up right there. I had him leaning, but then I did a step back by accident. And I was surprised when Roger Mason shot that because normally... Roger Mason, he never shoots the ball when I pass it to him, even when he's open. But I just found out that he has to be super wide open. If he's not super wide open, he won't shoot it. And look at that guy falling down, going to the corner for my patented splash. Oh, my goodness. The CPU must have been mad. They must have felt like cheesing. You know we got to bring that back. Rewind that. Do you think that he should have been able to block me? on that fast break should i have been able to shoot that knowing that i was in the corner and he was still in the paint when i was just getting the ball should he have been able to close out on me that was a little suspicious that's why i had to play it you can leave me your thoughts down below they're trying to oop it and now that just made me want to come down and oop it i totally forgot about the alley oops and look at that blooper eric gordon i wanted to oop it to anthony davis but notice that Anthony Davis wasn't even looking. He was just, it was like he wanted to go out of bounds. I had a mismatch there and I lost it at the last minute. I force up a shot and it goes in. Look at that. I'm only shooting 16% from the field, but I have six assists and it's the third quarter. Simulation. I haven't been able to make many shots on simulation. I finally get an open jumper to go down and I'm like, okay, I got to get my field goal percentage up. Got Ty Lawson on me, hit him with a cross. Now I get bumped, double team, out to my boy Gordon. Splash, another assist. I'm setting up my teammates, crossovers in the backcourt. I'm wide open right there. I finally get another jump shot to go in. Now my percentages are starting to go up a little bit. I'm at 31% shooting, but that's still not good. Look at Eric Gordon hustling. What has gotten into Eric Gordon? Lately, the last few games, He's been playing so good. And when you see him play in the next video, you're going to be like, wow, that's Eric Gordon. And look at that pass to Ryan Anderson. I set him up perfectly. I'm starting to use those double teams against the other team. Eric Gordon with the block 
What has gotten into the Hornets? In this game, we're playing like a championship team. We really are. It was it was so exciting to see this. Look at that still. What are the Nuggets doing? I hit Gordon immediately because look at what he does. He pulls up for jumpers. He always looks to score. When I pass it to other people, sometimes they don't know what to do with it. But Eric Gordon knows exactly what to do. I got a one-on-one. -on -one. They say that's an ankle breaker. I pull up, but I didn't want that. I wanted a layup. Anthony Davis gets me another assist. And this game is actually going to go down to the wire. You know they're going to come back. Another steal. I hit Eric Gordon immediately. He hands it off to Davis. Look at this team chemistry. Look at how we're playing. We're playing like we know what we're doing. My teammates aren't playing like they're, they're the CPU players. They're playing as if I'm controlling them. I come down. I get another shot to go with that shot clock winding down. 90 to 80. We had a 10-point lead going into the fourth. And this is where it all starts. This is where they come back. Look at that. They're throwing lobs. Now we only have an eight-point lead. And I was looking like the point guard version of Michael Jordan on this play. I hit him with the step back. Look at that shove. Shoved him with the shot clock winding down. <laughs> and we're on a little bit of a win streak. Not anything major. Maybe three or four games in a row. So this, this is actually a pretty big game right here. Look at that turnover. That's my third turnover of the game, but I get the ball right back with that defense. Now look at the score. We're only up by four. And look at Ryan Anderson cutting back door. He was weaving, cutting, faking one way, going the other way. That's crazy because he's known for shooting, really, not for doing that. Nice bounce pass to the brow inside. We're still only up by four. Now we're only up by two. Things are getting good here. I don't know what happened. They left Eric Gordon open. I wish he would have popped the three, but he made it. And look, I'm going to go to Gordon every time down at the end of the game because he's got that closer signature skill. So here we go. He's on fire. They bring a double team. Now I'm open. And guess what? I'm making jump shots now. Even though I'm not getting a release right, I'm now making jump shots. And that has me thinking, are the releases glitched in this game? There goes a double team on Gordon. I'm wide open for three. I just splash. I haven't made a three all game, but finally, when it really counts, I make it go in. And look at this. We're up by one point, and the brow travels. Wow. He travels. We get a stop, and we have another possession. You know I gave it to Eric Gordon. Give him the space. What is he going to do? They bring a double team. He's got to pass it. Almost a turnover. Aminu throws up a prayer. And look at this. Our winning streak is on the line. Anthony Davis with that traveling violation. Oh, man. But look at that. Look at Smooth. Look at Smooth. Look at that defense. And they called a clear path foul on the intentional foul. <laughs> That's cheese. I'm cheesing 2K. Then when they inbounded the ball to me, I got fouled again. So I made two more free throws. That's how I was able to score 23 points, even though I shot a bad percentage. 8 of 23 shooting, 3 turnovers, 15 assists. 